it is such a great idea. And I just wanted to summarize a few things that I took away from this today. Uh, uh, again, of course, from my perspective, but the words of others. Uh, you know, Anne told us early on that the reason for being here is that this is the most powerful tool under local control for rapidly and significantly reducing greenhouse gases. And Kara, of course, said the Joint Venture Silicon Valley is proposing a policy position to their board on Friday to support community choice. We heard from Steve Tate, Morgan Hill, um, who, that 15 cities have decided to make CCA one of its priorities. Uh, Joe Como, who I had not met before, um, I didn't realize he'd been head of the Office of Repair Advocate for the last four years. Um, he said this is, quote, good for ratepayers. Um, and of course, he represents the consumer side of the PUC uh, in, in advocating for ratepayers. And, and he believes we can, even with, with CCAs, um, improve the energy efficiency proce processes that we've tried to do in this state for the last 10 years or so. You know, we spend nearly a billion dollars a year on energy efficiency programs. And, uh, uh, there's been some candor around that discussion today about how little we have to show for it. I should say, in a positive way, how we think that community choice will provide much more opportunities to do that. Uh, George Seifers, uh, just tremendous. I'm sorry, Jeff. I have trouble because my, I spell my name with a J, and of course he does his with a G, and I always want to say George. Jeff, uh, uh, Jeff Seifers, um, I think gave us some of the most valuable advice. Uh, CCA, or community choice, is less about electricity and more about local control. I thought that was just an incredible advice. Um, he said, avoid the feasibility study, set your goals, get your PPA, and get started. Uh, good stuff. Let's see. Uh, there were more, uh, more issues that Jeff brought up. Uh, and I, and I think this is really important, um, having been a policymaker for a number of years. The details are important, and how you set up your CCAs are important. A couple of things that may have just blown by you, and you won't have to deal with yet for a while, but they've solved the net metering conundrum. Uh, they encourage more customers' own generation, and they do it in a constructive way that the investor owns and the PUC haven't been able to figure out how to do. His profit or profit tariff. Um, makes feed-in tariffs attractive. They've got the right incentives in place to provide for individuals to invest in their own generation. Th these are things that we've been trying to figure out with our constraints at the investor-owned utilities and the PUC for a long time. And of course, um, Jamie gave us a lot of good things from the Marin, um, what's MCE? Marin Community Energy? Clean Energy. Um, the investment that they've made in local programs uh, are just tremendous. Um, you know, EV charging, battery storage pilot, the home area network pilot, green business program, energy of better efi energy efficiency programs, local job creation. These are some of the benefits that they're seeing already, and I think that's probably why a lot of you are interested in that here today. And of course, hearing from Barbara Hale at the San Francisco Public Utilities Commission, I, my big takeaway there is. San Francisco has always struggled um, to, to make things happen, uh, but she said you've got to have a champion to move forward. And the, many of those champions are in this room here today for your various cities. Um, and of course, I loved her advice, just start. You can't get there if you don't get started. Uh, Will, on the regulatory side of the PUC, uh, gave us some really good advice. Uh, of course, he doesn't encourage or discourage community choice. <laughs> Melody Tovar said community choice is tremendously, a tremendously impactful strategy. Um, it includes local renew renewables and energy conservation. And of course, I equate energy conservation with energy efficiency. Um, Kerry Romanoff, who I've met with separately on this subject as well, She's intrigued with the opportunity to offer customers choice. And uh, of course, we all know San Jose is the big, uh, is the big elephant in the room. Um, I think they're going to be following the other, the other cities. Uh, and that's OK. Um, uh, from the water district, 
they're looking for community leadership, and I think they're a tremendous partner. At least that's what I took from, Matt, from Frank's comments. Unfortunately, we didn't get to hear much from Bill Mitchell about Microsoft. Is Bill still here? Or is he? No. Um, but, you know, uh, as much as I buy Mac products, Apple products, this is a tremendous company that is doing a lot of wonderful things at the corporate level. And, and in fact, they have an internal charge for carbon that's really driving corporate change. And, uh, and, and this gentleman here from Intuit is nodding his head. Companies have a lot to do with this and, and, and will have a lot to do in driving forward on these community choice opportunities in cities. Um, and of course, then we heard this afternoon from, from really the leaders of change uh, uh, once again, and, and I just was overwhelmed by the tremendous information that they provided us uh, uh, in terms of the lessons that they've learned. And I, and I really hope that you, that you will continue to lean on them. So let me add a little bit of my wrap to this as well. Um, you know, we've seen uh, that renewables uh, in recent years are a tremendous business opportunity. And uh, I know uh, as an investor, uh, I'm looking for those opportunities. I know there are companies in this room that are using those opportunities to their advantage. We are seeing solar 2.0. We are seeing renewables get into the market and be competitive. Now enter community choice energy. This promises us to open up new markets and new opportunities. And I think we've only begun to flex the, uh, the muscles here of what they can do. Uh, and Marin and Sonoma have led that way. It was interesting to also hear more about Lancaster and some of the innovations they're bringing to it. Uh, mayor elect Pepper. No, you're not mayor elect now, you're mayor pro temp. Um, I also live in Los Altos. Um, I think you can set these up however you wish to set them up, is the bottom line. And, and what we got today were good advice on how to protect individuals and, and entities. Um, but there's a lot of latitude in setting up J JPAs. Um, and remember, community choice is a local program. It allows you to do the things that your community wants you to do. Um, you can accelerate things that the investor owns because of their, and somebody used this term earlier today, mixed incentives can't necessarily do as well. Um, the, the city interest here today is fantastic. It's wonderful to see the electeds uh, and, and to have them stay as long as they have and take this all in. Um, I've heard a few veterans also say today that this is the most gratifying thing they've done in their career. I hope that some of the electeds feel that way as well. Um, I also heard some concerns about the opposition. And, and I would say do not underestimate the opposition. And that's the investor owns, that's the, the unions that have that have their interest uh, uh, wedded to perhaps um, those, those big contracts they have with investor-owned utilities, and there's others. Don't underestimate them, but don't be afraid of them. Um, you're community leaders, and I really think you'll find you can go forward and lead. Um, you know, many of you may recall when municipalization was the great fight with the investor-owned utilities. Uh, 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 maybe maybe um, Jan knows, when's the last time we had a a city municipalize in the state of California. Davis tried. Davis. Davis tried. That was more recently. I think the last one was the Lassen Pud Public Utilities District over 30 years ago, um, and and, and PG&E acted as though we that they were ripping the heart out of their service territory. Uh, municipalization is really not going to go forward at this point. This is the next best thing, um, and CCAs offer. Uh, uh, tremendous opportunities to get most of the advantages of municipal utility without being one. Um, I would say that it's extremely important that you work together. Uh, there was a lot of resources in this room, a lot of good information that was passed on. Rely upon those resources. The nonprofits that are putting efforts towards this, that are going out and raising money to, to, to try and move this forward. Uh, um, there, of course, um, uh, rely on, I can't even, oh, th this idea came to me, and I'm not sure how true it is, but I was talking to a few of the folks from Silicon Valley Power. Uh, why are they here? They're here because they're very excited about this opportunity for some of their um, uh, sister cities. They might be a resource that you could lean on, perhaps, that 
that uh, those in, in the North counties weren't able to have access to. Um, and, and I have some ideas about that, but I haven't discussed them with them. Um, and you may also want to share contact information, Anne, with everybody that attended here today, because I, I think we, we definitely have a, a, a willing, willing individuals here. I would also recommend you don't forget your customers and who they are. Uh, it's good to head off and, and really think you're doing the right thing, but you've got to lean on your customers, both residential and, um, I'm going to refer to you again, Tom, the business consumers in your cities as well. Um, this was not, this meeting I don't think was really set up for them today. It's tremendous that you were here, but uh, uh, they need to be brought along in this process too and see the opportunities for themselves as well as how they can help lead their communities. Um, and, and then of course, uh, I want to re remind you about uh, a continuation of this. Uh, I know that the uh, business, for, um, um, business for Clean Energy, and I'm sorry, I f forgot your organization, is very excited about a uh, local symposium that they have planned for October 23rd in Petaluma. Um, and in addition to a lot of the same resources that are here and expertise that's here, uh, they've got uh, keynote speakers, uh, including Jeff Seifers, uh, Jigger Shaw, who started the car, worked at the car, um, Carbon War Room, and in fact, he's just written a book that that I just grabbed um, a couple days ago on this subject, and as well as uh, Commissioner Hochschild Ho uh, will be speaking, a great consumer advocate. So I'd highly encourage you to make the trip up to Petaluma for the day there. Uh, I'll finish by saying I think this was a brilliant program. You had the right speakers, and you had certainly a great audience. Uh, I think we all should express our thanks to Joint Venture Silicon Valley, the Cities Association of Santa Clara County, Business for Clean Energy, um, and uh, certainly Microsoft for hosting us here today.